Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is another antivirus test. We are testing F Secure Internet Security. So F Secure is, you know, one of those old known names like Norton and uh, McAfee, and you know, one of the first um, true internet and not just internet, you know, true security software. Um, so I've tested the internet security. It's a little expensive because the prices on the website are in euros, so it's 50 euros. Yet it is, from what I understand, good for three machines, which is not that bad then when you consider that for 50 euros you get three computers. Um, I've tested it, and you know what? It's the first year I test this one. I haven't tested last year and uh, in the year before. And um, I realized that, you know, maybe that was missing off of my list. So after testing F-Secure, here are the results that I have. So, um, okay, no junkware, no junkware at all. Uh, easy to install, yes and no. And I'm going to tell you why. When you install it, it's not that it's difficult to install. But in the website, you have a number of choices to go through. And it's very unique to F-Secure website. So what the choices you go to are kind of, um, you know, you got to do choices. And I don't necessarily like the fact that people have to make choices when they have to choose something and install a new software. It's not that it's very difficult, but it adds a little layer of extra difficulty to installing the software. The uh, iCar test, when I tried to create and then save the virus. It immediately was detected and removed. That's good. But the download of the zip file did not detect anything. I had to unzip it before it told me, oh, there's a virus in there. You know, compared to other antiviruses that told me immediately, this is kind of a lack of uh, security, unfortunately. As for malware, now, when I downloaded my two pieces of software that had undesirable software, what happened is that um, I downloaded it. It didn't say anything. It's when I clicked to install them that it said, well, you know, this is something we don't know what it is exactly. And, you know, I don't like that because it's piece, it's software that's not you know obscure software it's software that's well known um, and well it told you okay well you know I'm not sure you want to install this do you want to block it or not and um, um, you know it's not the kind of way that I want that to be uh, happening uh, other software like you know AVG told me immediately oh there's two pieces of malware in here that's a much better security from my viewpoint, uh, for sure. CPU usage is very low. It doesn't show when you're on the internet. It doesn't really show uh, that you know you're you've installed F Secure. It's very low profile, and you know I like that. As for the uh, usage of the RAM, it's running into the 120 megabytes, 250 megabytes. So uh, here you see it, uh, all the different little bits of F secure host and so on. Uh, a total of 120 to about 150, depending on what you're doing on the computer. Uh, but the CPU usage is very low. And the footprint in the computer is very low. So it, in that sense, it's actually a, a, a very nice antivirus. Uh, one of the things that I'm very surprised is the fact that when I actually scanned my 2.3 gigabyte folder, it took only 12 seconds. And I'm kind of a little mystified by that. You know, every other, well, you know, some were 40 seconds, which I'd already found that was not a lot. But, you know, the other ones that do through three or four or five minutes, I scanned really thoroughly all the files, did in 12 seconds this scanner really really do a job that you know if there was something very very bad kind of buried in there it would have find it that's really really uh, I'm not sure 
I'm not sure. In 12 seconds for me, it's kind of... No, that's... I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, is there some way that it's scanning that it knows which files are more dangerous than others? That's possible. But uh, I don't, I'm not sure it's you know what I really want. Um, when you go to a banking site, it actually offers you to... Uh, well, it actually does a blocking of apps. Meaning that when you are on a bank site through a browser, it says, oh, okay, I'm blocking everything else so that you can do secure banking. That I did like, though. Uh, that was kind of interesting. Uh, that's for sure. So uh, extensions, of course, there's extensions for Firefox and Chrome browser, Internet Explorer, so that it can tell you that, uh, you know, when you go on the web, search results, uh, which websites are nice or clean and which are not. And that, of course, is not a bad idea. And you see the little icon here on the upper right corner of your screen. So when you actually do a search, it can tell you uh, what's good or what's not in general uh, with these little green check marks. Um, as for the startup impact, it's very low. I didn't see much uh, difference between the um, startup of my computer with F-Secure installed and uh, not installed. So, you know, this is a very low footprint here. Uh, so basically, you know, I don't like the fact that it's, it's kind of a little difficult to install. I don't like the fact that it's a little complex. You know, it told me that it didn't know about the software that I wanted to install, what to do. You shouldn't ask questions when, you know, you're doing security for people that don't know what they want to do or what they're doing. So because of that, uh, because it didn't see also the ACAR file in the zip and I had to unzip it before, uh, it does have some interesting features, but, uh, and also, you know, 12 seconds for a 2.3 gigabyte file scan or folder scan, I'm not sure. It's something that's quite interesting. So I'm giving this antivirus a 7.5 out of 10. Not really sure it does the job totally that it needs to do uh, because of all the tests that I've done. So F-Secure Internet Security. Uh, this is my verdict and what I think and that other antivirus do a better job actually detecting everything. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, any antivirus you want me to test that I haven't done already, um, let us know and you know we'll try to do it if we can. So thank you for watching and uh, thank you for comments and suggestions on our channel.